Former Navy SEALs are training for a 300 mile paddle, all for a good cause. Heather Lake is live at Mission Bay with the story. Heather, good morning. Hey, good morning. Yeah, getting out on the water. That's the name of the game, right? And these are former Navy SEALs who are basically making sure that they are still helping others. Um, that's what a lot of SEALs do when they're obviously in the teams and now it's beyond the teams. That's the name of the foundation and the organization that's helping out. It was all started back in 2019. And I think what's really interesting is, um, Mike, you guys are doing beyond the teams. A lot of people don't know about some of the nonprofits that started before COVID because there weren't a lot of events happening. So this getting on the boat, getting on the water, doing this challenge creates awareness for what you guys are doing. So what is Beyond the Teams? Beyond the Teams is just a group of people who served in SEAL team. We actually have a couple guys. We have an army guy with us. <laughs> but um, we we want to help people in our, you know, shadow of our, of our youth. And uh, so we get together. We don't know how to raise money, but we do know how to exercise. We do know how to do endurance events. So we do this, people help us raise money. And so this year we're uh, raising money for the Navy SEAL Museum. They have four charitable outreaches and uh, they help a lot of injured veterans. They help a lot of the families of people who've passed away. Yeah. So that's, that's what this is about. You guys have been training. You got some cool footage. I want everyone to see because I know we're standing here on the beach. We got this cool pink boat, which, by the way, outrigger clubs have kind of grown in popularity during COVID. It's a cool outdoor sport that people have been able to organize and get involved with. So the reason why it's pink is because you told me this is the one that was available. Right. <laughs> and so, yeah, the only, the only one you could get. Um, and so getting out there training, a lot of you guys weren't even paddling before this came about. Um, and I know, Conrad, a lot of SEALs like after the teams, you either love the water, you don't love the water, um, but you still want to stay active. Is this something that all of you guys have kind of enjoyed together? Oh yeah, a lot of guys that um, at first, a um, little hesitation because of just that, you know, the cold water, a lot of bad memories, <laughs> but uh, get in the boat and just uh, start working together as a team. It's just been great fun uh, to a man. They've all, everybody's enjoyed it. And uh, yeah, it's been exciting. And being able to work again, um, as you mentioned, as a team, and maybe for even uh, some of your brothers who have fallen in the past, you said this boat has a name that stands for remembrance. Ho'omana'o, yeah. which is the Hawaiian word for remembrance. And so we're finishing the paddle on the Memorial Day at the uh, SEAL Museum in Fort Pierce, Florida, Florida and uh, with the intent of uh, remembering and doing our small part to help the museum in their charitable uh, giving uh, programs. Yeah. Uh, so this is cool. So the paddle basically starts in Florida. You guys are all getting ready to travel. Not many of us have gotten to travel in a long time. Are we excited? Absolutely. Yeah. Yes. Very excited. So we're going to go. It's May 23rd. Am I right? Um, people can still reach out. If you haven't heard of Beyond the Teams, these guys need your help, um, you know, creating awareness, the, the museum, the Trident House, all that stuff. You can look up that good information on fox5sandigo.com. Click on the scene on tab on our website. I want you guys to learn about this. It'd be really cool if at some point in the near future we could get a Navy SEAL Museum here in San Diego because I feel like, am I right, that we need that. Yeah, that would be really, really cool to have. So if you get behind these guys and the causes that they're doing, you can help others in San Diego. Um, are we ready? Did, did we say 300 miles? That's what we're doing? 300 miles. How does that work? Do you put things in here like candy and uh, snacks and all of that? Do you go for a You're, you're going to be out there for a few days. Yeah, we'll be, well, we'll, we're stopping at night to do fundraisers. So, okay. uh, but we will have a chase boat uh, supporting us. We'll be doing crew changes, changes throughout. Okay, everyone has like their own snack and like secret weapon though, right? Yep. I heard C's candy, someone said Chick-fil-A, what do you got? Uh, I'm going to go with the goo, the sports goo. Oh, okay, so you're, you're a purist. <laughs> That's what that is, yeah. Awesome, I love it. Well, you guys, thanks for coming out early in the morning for me. Um, I won't make you paddle. We're just, you know, hanging out. We, we've already done that. You practice, what, three times a week? Yep. Yeah? At least, at least. And then we do land training, all kinds of stuff. I love that you guys are staying in shape and doing good stuff um, during all of this. And uh, once again, Beyond the Teams is the name. If you want to learn more about it and help out here in San Diego, it is on the website. All right, you guys, we're going to send it back to the studio for now. Good luck. Thank you. I love it. I love this. All for charity. All right, Heather, thank you.